so welcome back to the channel um, doing something a little bit different I'm actually talking to you but that's because the weather's a little bit uh, crazier than I anticipated uh, so I haven't been able to film with my main camera or anything like that so I'm basically just lugging around all that weight for fun so I'm filming on the GoPro right now um, but I just set up the tent I tried to find a uh, fairly sheltered spot but up here there's really not too many options um, so as of right now the wind is coming um, in from this direction uh, so I've got the tent pointed uh, that way um, I have a big uh, kind of stone mound behind me so I'm hoping if the wind shifts uh, this way that'll protect me a little bit um, but other than that, I think it's going to be a pretty windy night. Um, and of course, the, the first time I decided to bring real food, uh, instead of just something to boil water and heat up, it's the first time that the weather's crazy. <laughs> so I have a steak to cook tonight. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to finish getting unpacking, get, get more comfortable here, and then I'll uh, get back to you. All right, so while the wind died down for a second, I figure I'll come out and show you what I've got here. So, kind of sandwiched right next to the Lynn. Uh, there was a, a, really a prettier spot around the corner here, but it was just completely exposed. I would have been battered all night. Um, so occasionally I do get some cover and the wind dies down. Um, but yeah, beautiful spot. So I've tried to find as many stones as I can. I'm gonna go around and look for a few more in a little bit. I've got some um, on the sides where the wind's coming in from. I still gotta add one to this side. So I know this is a little bit different than my normal videos. Um, I try to kind of keep it quiet. I come out here to, to not talk, but I figured there's really not much content to show you because uh, I haven't been able to do any b-roll or anything like that just because I've been battered uh, it's raining pretty much the entire time hiking up uh, so yeah we'll try something a little bit different if you like it uh, great if not uh, I do apologize I'll get back to doing my kind of normal videos uh, but you know a little something different never hurt I'm just up there I'm coming down to get some water before it gets dark. Oh, it's kind of nice. I don't usually have a water source nearby, so I didn't have to lug as much water, which was good. So that kind of makes up for, I guess, carrying the camera equipment on my back. Usually, my camera and stuff's on a tripod in my hand, and I use it almost as a trekking pole. All right, almost there. A little precarious getting down. A lot of little crevasses and whatnot. Oh, like that, just stepped in one. Little drama. The wind blew my hat off, my favorite hat that I wear all the time. Luckily, it is slowly floating back to me. I'm standing on rocks here, just waiting for it to get it back. Got it. I love this hat. All right, let's get water.
trying to open things up as much as possible in here. Although the solo is great in wind, it's not the roomiest vestibule, uh, especially for cooking and things like that. But um, it's nice because you can actually open up this other side and it gives you a bit more space. Uh, so, it should be plenty. Haha! -ha. Always got something to keep the head warm. Oh, yeah. Frying pan, jet boil. I really, really, really wish I would have brought a real termat or one of those other meals. But, oh well. Sleeping bag and the hammer good. All right, let's get cleaned up here a little bit uh, and then we'll start cooking in just a little bit. Luckily, the temperature's not too bad. I want to say it's only 14 C or so. It's around, what, 60 degrees Fahrenheit? Um, so although the weather's miserable, rain, wind, and whatnot, it's at least not too cold, so. First time I think I've experienced the wind actually coming under the tent and lifting the floor. I haven't really done that before. So I did bring two beer selections tonight. Brewdog, Hazy Jane Guava, 5%er. Um, I've really, really been enjoying this one lately. Uh, it's a really good one. And I've never tried this one. Parma Violets, also Brewdog New England IPA, 5.5. Uh, um, yeah, looking forward to trying those. However, I think I'm gonna wait till the wind dies down uh, before before I do that uh, just in case for whatever reason I have to bail because uh, the walk back down uh, I'm not doing for the buzz so we will wait to enjoy those for dinner prime cut filet and some Brussels sprouts If anyone's wondering, I would not recommend cooking in your tent usually. Uh, it does have very good ventilation though. This is open, so it's passing through. I can actually see outside. Um, so there's plenty of ventilation. Um, definitely one of those things you do at your own risk. Uh, typically, I don't like to though. I said I will be checking the guidelines uh, throughout the uh, next three hours 
until the wind dies down to make sure everything's good. This side's just getting a battering right now. Um, it comes and goes, but uh, we should be good to, to cook here. All right, I switched over to the, the big camera. So it's not a complete waste of dragging it up the mountain. Um, so, something a little bit different. Again, usually when I do these kinds of camps, because of weather like this, I, I bring just uh, freeze-dried meals, things like that. Um, but, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Um, and I thought I'd actually try to cook something. I was in the mood for a steak. So I brought this big guy, but I think we'll be good. The wind's, again, intermittent, but you should be able to at least hear me okay right now. It's died down for a tiny bit. Um, so yeah, this is just the jet boil pan, um, burner. going to cut these in fourths just to speed up the cooking process a little bit so I'm not using the flame in the tent for all that long so I'll quarter them here Wish you could smell it in here. It's amazing. <laughs> I am glad I brought it now. 
always nice to have a nice steak, um, even if the weather's crazy. And it would have been a lot easier to uh, just boil some water, but Tim's holding up well. Some pretty strong gusts coming through, though. You can actually hear it coming down the side of the mountain just before it actually hits the tent. It's like a train. And then I got about three seconds and then brace myself because the tent gets battered from this side. Um, but yeah, everything's holding well. I checked uh, the stones and the guys. Everything's good still. So um, yeah, I think we're I think we're good. Probably only got another two hours or so left of the really strong winds, and I, I, I believe it's supposed to die down. At least uh, that's what it looked like before uh, when I had signal before I got up here. But um, steak's almost done. I guess I don't need to do this if I'm actually talking in the video. Looks good, let's see. Steak's good. I don't know if you can see me. Um, yeah, steak's good. The wind's still going. <laughs> um, but I'm going to uh, finish this up and then I'll get back to you guys. Yeah, so this jet boil nonstick is probably, I don't typically use nonstick, but this is super impressive incredibly easy to clean and it actually is non-stick which you know a lot of manufacturers claim um, but this is actually yeah this thing's pretty incredible Crazy. I'm gonna have to go check the guy lines again after that one. I turned the camera on right at the tail end of it.
just about to say the wind seems to be calming down. It is, though. It seems to be whipping through another part right now. Yeah, this is the first time I think I've ever been a little nervous being in this tent, which I've never felt nervous in. Um, just the way the wind was hitting the tent, it was really, it was lifting up a little bit. Um, but everything seems to be good now. I just checked all the guy lines and the rocks. Um, they're all good. So uh, hopefully things chill out a little bit. And uh, yeah, I won't regret not bringing my earplugs too much. Good night. Still didn't help much. So I have about an hour and 20 minutes. Still have an hour and 20 minutes before sunrise. I'm gonna make some coffee, pack up. Taking down the tent's gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's get going.
time to get packed up. Just wanted to point out that uh, the Hilleberg actually leaked on me a little bit, or is starting to, um, right where the zipper, you could see some droplets coming through. Granted, the wind and the rain is pretty extreme, um, and it's been like this for 12 hours, but still, I'll need to put a little seam sealant or something on the inside and that should fix it but anyone else who has a solo might want to do the same thing normal walk away from the camera <laughs> not today
made it back to the car. Um, I know this video is a little bit different than the ones I usually post, but uh, hopefully you like it. Hopefully you see it as something different. Um, if not, just let me know in the comments below. I don't think I'm going to do this often. Uh, I think, like I said earlier up on the mountain, I prefer to do more of the silent videos and things like that, but uh, yeah, this was fun. Alright, time to get back. Later.